to change PTO shafts between a, a 540 and a thousand on your 50 series or 55 series. This is the large frame tractor, 17 and bigger. Um, this one happens to be a 1755. I uh, don't have the PTO shield on it just for demonstration purposes. You know, always use your shields. And uh, what we need to do is, uh, I guess I need to get me a camera that will attach to my head or something. But I'm probably going to have to take a couple breaks here. But I'm going to remove the four bolts to hold this shaft in so that I can pull the 540 shaft out. I'm switching to a 1,000. Then I'll shift this shift rail. So I'll pause for a moment here and take those bolts out. All right, bolts are out, retainers off. There's enough trapped air behind this shaft. It pushed it out on its own. That means uh, seals are in pretty good shape. There ain't oil pouring out or anything like that. 540 in. All right. Set this to the side. Now I can put my thousand shaft in when you're switching for 540. And it's all right, but once you're in thousand RPM, which we'll show how to shift that in a second here. Let's see if I can set these up. You will see that the uh, 540 shaft's just a little bit longer than the thousand shaft. And there's a pin that comes in inside there that prevents this plunger from moving so that you don't put the 540 shaft in when you're on a thousand you can put the thousand in on 540 you're just going to be under speed but so to shift we just loosen this jam nut here and then screw the bolt out of ways because it goes in the groove there's another groove inside there, and it'll eventually go in this groove. I like to put a bolt in and just leave it in this rail. I think the book calls for taking this bolt out of here, putting it in the end so you can grab it and shift it. And uh, But then you don't always hit the mark. When you have it like this, then you can turn the bottom bolt up in, make sure you get the groove. But I can already tell you right now, it's not going quite all the way because the gears ain't lined up. So I put the thousand shaft in, turn it just a little bit, hands again, there we go, shifts in the rest of the way, then you can run this bottom up by hand and make sure it's centered in that groove by wiggling that bolt. This doesn't, this set screw does not need to be super tight. You do that and all you do is mess up the uh, the shift rail and put dip, divots and blemishes in it that will could possibly ruin the seal that's behind it. So uh, get it in, find the groove, and then uh, you're shifted to a thousand. In is 1,000 speed, out is 400 or 540, and if you don't have this shift rail, then you've got a single speed unit, and whatever you got is what you got. It could be single speed 540, it could be single speed 1,000. Put your PTO shield back on, and you're ready to go. I will go over and show you a, a 50 series is pretty much the same, other than there's no bolts to remove. 50 series, all I got to do is just pull this snap ring here. Then your shaft comes right out, no bolts to remove, but the exact same shifting mechanism down here. And then uh, shift to whichever range, out is 540 and in is 1000. If you don't have a shift rail, you don't have a dual speed, put your shaft back in, put your snap ring back in, and you're in business. Hope this helps.